Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today, guys, we are going to be taking a look at a double Lucario deck, if you want to call it that. We are going to be playing a Lucario Melmetal deck with Lucario here from Unified Mind. So this thing has the ability Tag Coach, which allows your Tag Team Pokemon to take 20 less damage from your opponent's attacks. And I was thinking about how to play this. I was like, should we play it with Tina Chomp because it's literally in the artwork? Should we play it with ADP? What should we pair this with? And I was like, well, it's kind of obvious we pair with Lucario Melmetal because... It's a double Lucario deck, and Lucario Melmetal already has some tank about it, thanks to Full Metal Wall and Frying Pan. So it just seems like a no-brainer not to pair the two together. Now, Lucario Melmetal is okay right now. Definitely, Lucario Melmetal will be a lot better in the new set, um, but this deck is still fun to play. This deck can kind of body Malamar because... Well, it depends on what Malamar deck, but it can definitely body Malamar because it's resistance to Psychic. So it's a pretty bulky deck, and we're going to try it out here on PC Joe. So freaking the video, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Car Kevin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for PDCGO codes, if you're trying to get yourself Sword and Shield pre-orders, guys, get them at Car Kevin TCG. Card Kevin has Sword and Shield codes up for pre-order right now. They also have the theme deck codes for pre-order. Um, Evolution Kit for Sword and Shields will also be back in stock very soon, um, if not already by the time you're watching this video. You get any of the Peach Joe code you want to over there. If you want to maybe get a specific, you know, GX codes like a Lone Sanchez code or get your own Lucario GX codes. Get them over at Car Carbon TCG and use code LDF at the checkout. Get yourself a 5% discount on your order to support the channel. Help yourself out and help Car Carbon out. So yeah, shout out to our sponsor, Car Carbon. Now let's look at our deck here. So again, Lucario My Metal's your main attacker. Lucario My Metal's seen play with Welder right now. I've just decided not to play with Welder. Instead, we're going to be just manually building it up through Steel Fist and hopefully tanking long enough to win the game so we have a lot of heals in this deck to you know also help us out we are playing three great potions alongside three malolanas yes three malo and lanas that is a lot of malolanas to play but malolana is super important in this deck in my opinion so i think it's fine to play three you can always just go down to two if you want it's up to you and again we got four four lucarios here with tag coach if we get three of these in play that's an extra 60 less damage lucario takes on top of full metal wall and metal frying pan that's like 120 less damage some decks can't even do damage to at that point uh which is kind of insane now the only issue with this is that it's hard to power up lucario um melmetal very quickly you know still fist only does 50. the other issue though is getting these things in play uh, we don't have a good way to search them out other than Pokecom. We do play 16 Pokemon, so I've made sure to max out everything here so that our Pokecoms are usually, like, pretty good. Um, it's like, okay, we have an extra Jirachi or Lucario in our hand. We can just put them back and find Riolu or Lucario. That's our only way to find this card. We also are playing a few draw cards like Couch Trainer and Caitlyn Cynthia. Just instead, you know, try to draw into Lucarios here. That's our other option. Um, but once we get a few in play, we're bulking. I am playing four Jirachi, of course, just for the setup. I got one energy spinner for energy, a great catcher, three great potion, Pokecom, one switch, three tag calls, because it's super important in here. Um, now, I am playing two different stadiums. I've decided to play Mount Coronet to get energy back, and we are playing two Lusamines alongside Kaylin Cynthia. So, in theory, we never really run out of um, ways to get Mount Coronet. This just helps us against stall um, and stuff like that, or just control decks, or whatever the case may be. And I am playing a power plant, because if we run into Mewtwo, we can power plant Lusamine Loop and just win the game that way. Mewtwo, you know, already can struggle against us, depending on how the game goes, because of our resistance. Now, I got th a lot of other supporters. We got three bill, because no green works in here. We could play green. If you want to cut the Drachi out altogether, you can, in technicality, play green in this deck. It's up to you if you want to go down that road. I got four coach trainer, Three Kaylin Cynthia, two Lusamine. Again, three Malolanas. It might be a little overkill to play three Malolanas, but again, the healing factor is so good. Malolana, Drachi. I am playing three Escape Boards to Compensate for that combo. Plus, it allows Lucario to kind of retreat for one energy. I got some Frying Pans for our Lucario. One Recycle Energy. Uh, this is just mainly here for like Steel Fist Heavy Impact. Just makes sense to play it. And then I got seven Metal Energy. So yeah, this is my double Lucario deck. And let's see if we can uh, win games by tanking people with this deck and see how good it is. All right, guys, let's go try out the Lucario deck here. I kind of want to just run into like nothing but Guardian and Malamar because those are like the two matchups like this deck I think can like really, really beat. Um, I do not want to see stuff like Fire Deck, Simple Cephalon. Those are just matchups we can't beat. So we don't want to run into Baby Bombs. We don't win the coin flip, which kind of sucks. We'll see what my opponent is playing here. And all right, we get a lot of basics. I actually like this hand quite a bit. Get the Jirachi start. We do have Riolu here, so we can evolve into a Lucario, get some extra boost going. We'll see what they're playing. 
Oh, they start with the Gengar Mimikyu. So this is actually going to be, it looks like a Malamar Mew box deck. I've seen that deck get a little bit of talk recently. Apparently Mew with Malamar and Trevnor is going to be like the new Mewtwo deck. I don't know about that because like Trevnor is good, but like, I don't know. This thing's actually a little scary for us. We do have a power plant though and a Lusamine, so we do have that going for us. They do switch, and they play a Hapu. That's a supporter I have not seen in a very long time. I actually forgot it completely. I forgot it existed, bro. All right, well, hopefully they end up discarding a lot of important resources here. Okay, not really. Oh, they have Latios GX. Okay, good thing they discarded that, because there's only one way we can deal with Mewtwo. Ooh, they get rid of two Malana, so that's good. And they lost a game with Cynthia, so that's actually really good. Okay, the Latios is kind of annoying, for sure. But if we power plant them, that might be what we need to buy us some time. Plus, we have our GX attack here to maybe discard the energy and slow them down. There's a Dedenne coming down. All right, we'll see what we can do here with our top deck. And Stellar Wish. We'll probably do Stellar Wish and stuff before we play the Bills Analysis. Because I don't really know what we want yet. Really hope we didn't pri prize our power plant, because that's like the only way we can maybe win the game. Still a wish. Alright, we'll take the energy spinner, right? No, we'll take the Caitlyn Cynthia. Because I'd rather have a Caitlyn Cynthia in my hand. Let's go for Bill. Alright, we get a tag call, and we get an energy spinner and a Bill again. Alright, we'll take the energy spinner. This time around. Sucks we can't move Jirachi here, but that's fine. Lucario. We'll get Malana. Actually, we'll get two Lucarios. Just, I don't know. I don't really need the Malana. Let's play this. And, I mean, maybe we should have taken the bill because, like, I wanted the energy spinner, but, like, I wanted the bill so we can try to dig for an escape board for Jirachi. So we can full metal wall my opponent here. Again, I'm scared of Latios, but we do have um, Power Plants and Lusamine in the deck, so if anything, we can try to win the game by doing that. And I want them to discard a Stadium card so we can win in the Stadium War. Because I feel like if we can stick a Power Plant here, it's going to be really good for us. And with Lusamine, Caitlyn, Cynthia, like, we have like unlimited access to our Power Plants. Hopefully. So we just need to find a Power Plant soon. My opponent can't even knock me out here with Gengar Mimikyu. They actually have no attack that can knock me out. They, they can Pale Moon GX me, I guess. <laughs> That's what they can do. They can Pale Moon me. Or maybe they could have... Well, maybe, you know what? Instead of taking the card, we should have taken the uh, Malolana. Because if they do do Pale Moon, we actually need to have a re... We need to have an answer to that. Alright, we're going to GX them anyway, so it's all good. They drop another to Dene. They didn't discard any stadiums, though. Maybe they just don't play stadiums. Oh my god, it's a chaotic swell. That's annoying. That is super annoying. Well, this is not very good. We're gonna have to try to GX them here. Hopefully we can hit a switching card here off of our turn. So we can full metal wall them. Like we could tank for quite a while if we really wanted to. That could be one of our outs to winning is tanking with Lucario Melmetal. We have to be careful, though, with what we have in our hand because of Poltergeist also. Okay, let's see what happens here. They're not going to knock me out. Like, they can't really take a knockout this turn, which is good. They can hit me for 30 damage. Okay, we drew a tag call. That's really good. Then get us a Mount Lana. We're not going to play it right now, though. Like, I mean, I would like to. But I'd like to play it because it gets in the deck out, but I don't want to. Okay, there's the escape board. Nice. Well, Caitlyn, Cynthia, get back Bill. Or maybe we don't have to. Because Poltergeist. I don't really know what, like... I don't know. Uh, you know, no, let's do it. I need to dig for a stadium.
didn't get one. We got more supporters, which is not good. I was hoping for like a Pokecom or something there too. That's fine. We'll just full metal wall them and hope for the best. Maybe we could like stall them out of the game. We're tanking so much. Maybe like if we play really smart, we could maybe like just stall them completely out of the game. Because they're not doing as much damage to us, so I don't know. So if somehow, some way we can win by stall, that'd be great. <laughs> they had a switch, bruh. I was hoping they actually couldn't even move there. Alright, we're gonna have to tag call, I think, for another Lucario Mel Metal. That's really annoying, bro. I was really hoping they wouldn't have a swing of switch. Okay, well, they're doing like 80 less damage because of this guy being in play. So we need to get more of these in play. We need to get more Lucarios into play here. We can play Maulana, which I'm very tempted to do. They're still doing like a good amount of damage. Or maybe not. Another Riolu. Nice, nice. You'll love to see it. Okay, you know what? We're not going to get knocked out here, so... I think I'm gonna play the bill. A, there we go, great potion. We'll take the escape board. Still no stadium, which is not good. <laughs> but we can get to healing. Alright, he's 100% gonna go for Maracas. Or not Maracas Duo. He's definitely gonna GX me here. I don't even think I wanna get an energy because he's gonna GX me. He's gonna definitely go for uh, Pale Moon GX. And then we have to play Maulana with Tag Call. Maybe then I shouldn't even have played the Great Potion and saved it. No, he's got 12 cards left, so again, we can maybe try to deck him here. That could be one of our win conditions. Another- what? Yo, why is he playing Hapu? Unless he plays like Brock's Grid or something, bro, he is going to deck out. Like, I, I don't think he can take all his prizes. Oh, maybe then we shouldn't have benched this, but we need more Lucarios. Wow. I We can literally deck him, I think. What is he doing? Okay, there's no sign of any way to get stuff back. The Absol in the discard pile is good. I've never seen an Absol in a Malamar deck, though. Okay, we I think we can definitely deck him here. I guess we're just gotta be careful what we bench. Okay, this guy has six energy on. He doesn't have a cross division in the discard pile, though. Okay, he actually plays Horror House, which is kind of weird. Okay, please don't draw a trainer. We drew a trainer. And it's the one trainer I don't want. Oh, he concedes. Oh, the tankiness one. Oh my gosh. I got so... He actually, I think, was knocking me out there. Because we drew, the, we drew two trainers there, so... That was pretty good, but that is the power of Lucario, guys. It's very tanky, and when you have combo Lucario, Melmetal with Lucario here, you just get a very big tanky little combo there. The only thing we were missing was Power Plant. We finally drew one, though, but it was kind of a little too late. Um, but at least we drew the Power Plant there. My opponent didn't do Horus. I'm really surprised they didn't do Pale Moon GX. Like, that's why I didn't want to attach the energy, because we would have lost so much energy there if they did Pale Moon, but I don't know why they didn't go for Pale Moon, but I'm not going to complain. They were going to deck out probably. We definitely could have won by stalling them out. So see you guys in another match with our Lucario deck. Okay, guys, let's get into another game here with the double Lucario decky build and see if we can continue to keep tanking some boys. And all right, we're up against some kind of water deck here. We'll see what kind of deck this is. If it's like a Blastoise deck, they can damage cap me. Or they can infinitely damage cap me. If, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But you know what I mean, right? They can get a bunch of energy in play. Um, so that's a little bit of an issue for sure we'll see how good our start will be looking though that's what it comes down to at the end of the day if we get a good jirachi start i will right, we'll see how we go here what are we going to start with um okay we got a jirachi start uh we also start with lucario melmetal i think we'll still start with jirachi though despite having the coach trainer in hand i think we still start jirachi here and maybe just do caitlin cynthia draw a couple cards we can put the recycle energy on we'll see what kind of deck they're playing it is a blastoise deck they do play judge which is kind of a problem for us too, I think. So yeah, Blastoise not very good for us because they get a bunch of energy and play, they can one-shot us. So we have to be a little careful there. So this matchup might be a little tricky to navigate a way to win. But I feel confident. I don't know. We can draw an extra card. Hopefully it's Riolu. It's another energy. Okay, we'll take it. Let's start with a Squirtle here. 50 H or 60 HP 
relevant because we're only doing 50. I might have to play aggressive with full metal wall early on just so I can guarantee that 30 less damage. This might be tough though. Them going first is not good for us either because we need to get extra energy and play on Lucario. And they already get the advantage of attaching early. Ooh, they do bench a Pip Toys though. Okay. 50, 150 damage is a lot better to deal with than 60 damage for each energy that I'm play. All right. Let's go here, Stellar Wish. We do find a tag call, which we will take. I think we do, Caitlyn, Cynthia. We'll play the tag call, get Lucario, get a Malolana. I think what I'm gonna do is Caitlyn, Cynthia away the other Lucario. We don't, obviously we have more. Okay, we got a Riolu. We also get a Frying Pan, which is pretty big. The only thing missing now is an Escape Board. And next turn, we can start to attack with Steel Fist, or we can Full Metal Wall. Either or would be fine. We'll see what, the, what they're going to do here. Ah, uh, they did Lily. Their hand is huge. There's a very high chance they have Rurikani Blastoise here, which is not good. Oh no, they play a How! <laughs> Every time I see this, it's like, oh no. They have How in their deck. Oh no. I'm actually going to retreat. They probably get the knockout here if they have rare candy and blastoise which they do have unless it's blastoise gx it's not we're gonna have to full metal wall them here i think if they don't knock me out that's good but they probably will well, they knock me out it's not the end of the world we can actually go into lucario draw four cards coach trainer get another lucario and play full metal wall them go from there i don't know depends how much energy they're playing now, let's see if they get the two energies here. Do we do not? Oh my gosh, that is insane. That's actually insane. Okay. We're very reliant here on getting a switch or an escape board. We got a bill, which I'll take. I'm honestly like, I kind of feel like just doing this guaranteed the switch, but we're going to go bill. There's a high chance we find a switch here. Still didn't find a switch though? My guy, what? Um. Alright, well, that's a problem. We didn't find the switching card. That's a big issue. Okay, so we can get another Riolu. I think I'm actually gonna get another Jirachi in play though, just to guarantee I have two in play. Okay. That's a big bummer. Not getting the switch there. The fact that they whiffed off Powerful Squall tells me they might not even play as much energy. Like, I was expecting, like, 15, 16 energy. I mean, they have a house. They might not be the best at deck building, so they might have, like, 15 energy in their deck. Usually, these Blastoise decks only play, like, 7. Ooh, a Lily's full force. That's actually kind of big for them, because they have to put back cards that aren't energy. And, oh, no, a Keldeo. Keldeo's annoying. But, again, we have Power Plant, which I think is in the deck. If it's Power Plant's on the deck... I mean, we might, we probably just lose, to be honest. <laughs> because I don't know how we can take a prize without the power plant. And alright, there we go. They do hit a lot of energy powerful. So they can knock me out with their attack. They have to put a lot of their hand back. And we're going to leave this thing naked. Unless their whole hand is full of energy, they're going to clunk their deck up with items and supporters, probably, with the Lily's full force. And then remove all the energy off Blastoise Pipple up with heavy, with full metal wall. That seems like a pretty good play. Now I can bring in the Jirachi, but obviously we're going to go in with Lucario Man, but I'm not going to take any risks today. I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to go for it and hope that I hit off of this. And they had one energy in their hand, which tells me they're going to clunk their deck back up. Especially that prize, if that's not an energy, it's going to be pretty good. They might be playing Energy or Cyclo, obviously, but we'll see. And let's see what they're going to do here. How much do they put back? Okay, they got to leave their hand with two cards. That's pretty big. Yes, please be all items and stuff. Okay. Another coach trainer. Okay, cool. We just play the coach trainer, I guess, and hope for the best. And energy would be good. Nice. We do get another Jirachi. Uh, I'm not going to bother benching it, though. We're just going to full metal wall. Hopefully, this thing doesn't attack me. My opponent might have a switch, though. They can go into Keldeo. They're down five energy. They do have an energy recycler here. That'll be pretty bad. Maybe they held on to it if they do have it. Another Lily Full Force. I'm fine with that because that's just going to keep putting stuff back in their deck that clunks up their energy. I actually don't even mind that. As long as they don't do energy recycler here. 
I'm still scared of Blastoise GX though. Still, ooh, they do have a switch. Keldeo does go through. Ooh, that's. I quit. <laughs> I actually quit. A the whiff. Oh, that is so annoying though. The chaotic swell. Of course, they had it in their hand. Oh, that is so frustrating. Okay, there's power plant. You love to see it. I think we just do this. Just keep uh, get some heals. It's gonna be really bad to play another chaotic swell here. I think we just steal fist. Okay, this is fine. So next turn we can Malana, power plant. Attack them for 150. And go from there. That actually cheeses me, though. They lilied into their Chaotic Swell. Unless they're holding on to it. If they have another Chaotic Swell here, I'm going to cry. If they have another Chaotic Swell. That's going to be pretty bad. Then, well, I guess we can still, like, then just do Lucimine. Get back. Probably a Coach, I would say. And the Chaotic... No, we'd have to do Double Stadium. No, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see if they get another Chaotic Swell here. We do knock this out soon, though. We are going to put their hand down nice and low. Ooh, a Sylvali's in the deck. Well, that's a good thing we have Power Plant. Okay. See, we draw here. A Bill. Malana. We'll get rid of Bill. I don't really think we need it. Gee, how did they do 120 to us? I just realized, where'd that extra 10 damage come from? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Don't know what to tell you. Uh, definitely take the Maulana again. I really, where did that 120 damage come from? How'd they do 120 to me? Wait. No, we had 10 damage left on us, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I forgot we still had a few damage counters on us from those great potions. Okay. My bad. My bad. We do need to get a Lucario Mel Metal established very soon, though. Hopefully, Celebration get us into a tag call. Okay. Please do not play a Chaotic Swell. That will really tick me off. Ooh, a Caitlyn Cynthia. That's only three cards, though. They're probably going to take back Lily. One of the two Lilies, I would say. Yeah, they get back the normal Lily. But their hand might be a little big here. Okay, please don't have a Chaotic Swell. I really want to knock this thing out. Ooh, Judge. That's fine. As long as they don't... Hmm. No problem with Judge. We'll probably have a small hand next turn anyways. Because we're going to have the Malone. I think we'll get rid of a Lusamine, obviously. Lusamine and our top deck. I guess we can get rid of Caitlyn Cynthia too. Because we can... I don't know. I kind of want to keep both Lucimines. I, I kind of even want to just do Lucimine next turn. But we need to fully heal ourselves because we are going to get threatened possibly by a Blastoise next turn. So I think we have to heal no matter what. Even though we do have a bit of tankiness on our side. Ooh, they're actually going to switch in the Blastoise Piplup. So now we need a great catcher. But this is a great turn for us to do Lucimine. Okay, we can two-shot this thing, which I like. They're down 10 energies here, too. So, 5, 8, 10. So, they're down 10 energies. So, we'll have to see if they have any more. Again, I'm speculating they have 14, 15 energy in their deck. Like, I'm going to make a guess that that's how much energy they play. So, we are going to get judged here, most likely. This is why I did kind of want to lose me. We get a stadium back. We also get back the coach trainer. So, if we do get judged, we can draw the coach trainer, draw four cards. They do get an energy off of that. I actually, I wasn't paying attention. Did they attach? <laughs> They're gonna Malalana rip. They can keep that Lily in their hand too. Draw like five, six cards next turn. Unless they have a Blastoise GX in their hand, they can knock me out. Oh no, do they actually have it? Okay, good. We need a Great Catcher. We need another Lucario Moment on a Great Catcher. Great Catcher to knock out Keldeo would be good. Get 300. Actually, yeah, Keldeo. All right, come on, Great Catcher. No, we do find the other Lucario, which is big. We really wanted to get a second one in play. 
Just knock them out. Keep applying pressure to them. Only one prize, though, but that's fine. That's big, because we knock this out, knock this out, we win the game. Do get another Riolu, so we can get another Lucario in play. And there is the Blastoise. Oh boy. This is why we really needed to get Great Catcher, because now this thing has become a problem. And they have a Cynthia too. This is bad. If they do Energy Recycler too, we are in a lot of trouble. This is really bad. <laughs> yeah, this is... They're gonna get six energy off their powerful Squall. <sighs> this is really bad, guys. This is really, really bad. I don't even know if we can win now. Like... Yeah, this is pretty much game over. Like, if we were able to knock this out, we would have been good. I'm pretty sure they're knocking me out. Even though we do have a bit of a reduction, they have enough energy to knock me out. Like, that's... That's a knockout. Like, 100%. That's gonna be a knockout. I might have to just bring in Jirachi. Oh, boy. This is where we lose. I <laughs> the heck am I supposed to do? What am I gonna do? Still can't get Great Catcher. We can hit them for 50. I mean, I don't even know at this point what I can do. I get, I mean, bruh. I also, I can't really give him the time to build up energy though either. That's the other problem. I guess we just go for it, hit them. And just hope we can tank some hits. I don't know, this, I think we have to attack him. They're just gonna keep getting time to build up their board. I mean, if they don't knock me out, we can fully heal next turn, which is good. Hopefully we have energy in the deck. We don't. Bruh. Yeah, this is really bad, guys. This is really, really bad. They're gonna get... They have so much energy in the deck right now. They have, like, all their energy in the deck, pretty much. So they pretty much just win here. <laughs> they get a choice helmet, too, just to rub it in. Just to rub it in, they put a choice helmet on. They, like, I had to attack with this. I can't really give up Jirachi, I don't think. There's no way this is not going to get a knockout. Like, yeah, four energy. Yeah, we can, like, we can try to heal a lot of the damage, which I think is, like, our best resort. It's good that they haven't judged me yet, because then we lose the chance of finding Maulana. Do we have any more Maulanas left? We should have that other one in the deck, or it's prized. I don't know. Hopefully they just drew a bunch of energy there. That's like my best bet. Five energy. Yo, this is just bad. This thing is what I was scared of, and it came into play, guys. It's just not good. Like, bro, how are we going to win this? How are we going to win this? If we had a tag switch, we could go into the other Lucario Melmetal. I don't know. I don't know. If, oh man. This is so bad, guys. Oh, they're only doing 140, though. Oh, never mind. So we can heal all that damage. Like, we could just poke for 50, in the meantime, try to build up another Lucario Melmetal. We don't have a lot of cards left in the deck, though. Great Catcher is there. 
We could also just get the other Lucario into play. I think I just I would much rather just value building up another Lucario Mau Mau. Might just have to keep poking for fifty. This is really not good though, guys. Not gonna take anything because <laughs> can't do much at this point. We just have to keep poking. Uh, maybe I should have attached. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point, guys. I just, I don't see how I'm gonna win this. I guess we should have just attached to this guy, but we're not gonna knock him out. We just can't do enough damage. I don't know. We can... We can lose some get back Malana next turn, which is what we have to do. We're running low on cards, though, too. We have seven cards left in our deck. That's why it's like... We're very tight on resources right now. I just want them to hit six energy just to knock me out. Put me out of my misery, because, like, bruh. How are we going to win this? How are we going to win this? I should have maybe, instead of building that, I should have attached here. I'm trying to think of the long run, but I don't think the long run's a thing. Great catcher, that's interesting. There's no way they can deck out either, that's the other problem too. Like, unlike that last game there, we can't deck them out. To get another blast so we have to go through this then we have to go through that yeah this game is unwinnable guys there's this game is literally unwinnable yeah oh they just win right wow Oh, man. If we were able to Great Catcher them that turn, I really think we could have won the game. Because all we need to do was Great Catcher the Keldeo, right? Knock it out, get three energy off the board, and we were cruising. Unfortunately, things did not go our way. Uh, I think we'll wrap the day's piece of video, guys, with the double Lucario deck. It's a pretty cool archetype for sure. It's fun to play because you control people. Um, mainly, you just want to hunt down Malamar, and I guess Guardian's another matchup you want to just hunt down. I mean, if you hunt down the right matchups, this deck is hilarious and fun to troll people with. Uh, to make any last-minute changes, guys... More heals would be recommended. I think we can maybe go down to two Malolanas. I think three might have been overkill. I still like having three, though, but I th maybe you can cut out a frying pan, too. Um, I don't know. I like the deck. I think it's fun. Um, it's a fun little troll archetype, but you can definitely make changes to it. But yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Help me on the road reaching 7,000 subscribers. And as always, check out the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG, guys. Use code LDF at the checkout if you purchase any codes from Card Cavern. And I'll see you guys in our PCGO video tomorrow. Probably, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, have a good day. Bye-bye.